All right. Uh, this is the second, third video, or fourth video we're going to do about uh, game development. In this one, I'm going to show you something important, which is event listeners or event handling. How do we handle events in, the, uh, in gaming and JavaScript? And uh, we're going to do two examples. The first example, what we're going to do is that how do we monitor for the mouse event on the click? The other one we're going to do is when we press a key. So let's go ahead and get look at the example that we did last time, which is this one here. All right. So I want you, if you have it, do uh, the, um, file and save it as, let's make a copy of it. All right. So I'm going to call this canvas or uh, we're going to say mouse event. All right. And so instead of starting with a new something in you, we click on save. All right, how do we handle events? Well, there are different ways to do it, but the easiest way to do it with the canvas is that you actually have a canvas already, and then you need to say in the uh, attributes, you can say, for example, on click, I want to do something. What do you want to do? You want to call a function, and that function I'm going to call it draw, and I'm going to pass to it the event. All right, so every time you click on the canvas, it will call this function event. Now, we need to define that function. And in JavaScript, to define a function, you just say function. And then you say, um, we're going to call it draw. And I'm going to pass it the event parameter. And to show you how it works, I'm going to just say alert for now, alert, and then uh, mouse clicked. Okay, and then close it. All right. Now, if you save it, command save, and then go to the browser again, draw it. Now, everything is okay. If you click here anywhere, it's fine. it wouldn't do anything, but if you click on the canvas, then you say mouse click. And that is important because you want to know if you're clicking on something on the canvas. Now, the second part is that when you're using a mouse, you want to know the coordinate of that mouse. Where is that mouse? And to do that, in the draw function, we have the event. I'm going to show you how to get the x and y. What we do is that you say, for example, you say, var x equal to the event and then offset x and that will give you the event the x position in terms or uh, according to the coordinates of that canvas so within the canvas so now i can do the same thing for var y and i can say event dot offset instead of x you can get y and you, I'm going to show you how we print them out to say x equal uh, the value of x plus y equal the value of y. All right. Now let's test it and see how it works. If you go to the browser again, Refresh, you click here, you got X and Y, Y it says undefined. Let's make sure that we got it right. Is Y equal, oh, capital Y here. All right. We go in here, okay, refresh it again. I get X and Y. Now notice this would be your almost zero, zero, one, one. Here it should be the width of the canvas, which is 400 almost, okay, and zero. Here it should be the width and the height of the canvas, which is almost 400. And finally, here is the height of the canvas, all right? So now I know how I get the coordinate of that canvas. And you can do anything you want with it. You can actually draw, you can do monitor for this position. So now if I wanted to draw something based on what I clicked, all I have to do, you can just say here, um, 
you can say, ex for example, you can, we need the canvas object. So you can get the canvas objects. All right, I'm gonna copy these. Command copy. And then you can put it in here. No need for the alert. We're, we got the information that we want. So you can copy this stuff. Get, a, get the canvas, get the reference, change the color to red if you want. And then now the position, the coordinate is X, the position is Y, and here I'm gonna give it my own width, which is 2020. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle wherever I click on that canvas. So if you say Command S, save, you go to the here you do refresh notice when i click i get a rectangle notice when i click on the rectangle it's actually drawing in the upper left corner what if i wanted to draw from the middle of that rectangle we have to do a little bit of math calculation what do you do you say instead of drawing from starting the point x you actually want to move to the left of x by half of this distance. So if this was 20, you take half of it will be minus 10. So you say minus 10. Same thing with this one, minus 10. Half of the 20 is minus 10. And let's see what happens now. If you say Command S, you go back, refresh. Now notice when I click, it's actually clicking, drawing in from the middle of the, uh, wherever the mouse is pointing at the center. All right, the last thing I wanna do here, I wanna know if I actually, if you're playing a game, you wanna know if you're actually hitting something on the screen. So what I wanna know if that, if I hit anywhere on that box, how do you determine the boundary and the location of that box? Well, it's a simple calculation. What you do, this is the box that we're drawing. It's, it has a position of 50 and a width uh, 50 and 100. So X is 50, Y is 100. So how do you calculate the, core, the boundary of this box? A simple calculation, you do X plus the width. Okay, so that will give you the boundary of the width of that box, the big, from the start to the end. Same thing with the height. So you can do its height actually plus the width. Sorry, the height, right? So this rectangle has a boundary two points, which is, the 50, the range of 4x is 50 to uh, 100, which is 50 plus 50. And the other one, it has a range for the x, this is x range. And the y range is actually equal, y range equal what? Equal, the starting point is 100 plus 50, so it is from 100 to uh, 150. So anywhere you click between X, 50 and 100, that means I'm in that boundary, and between 100 and 50. So how do I know if I click that box? So you say in here, you put in here, you say an if statement, simple if statement, you say if X equal, or if X is greater than or equal 50, and X, is less than or equal 100, that's the range of x, and you do the same thing with y, and y, if x, uh, y is greater than or equal 100, and y is less than or equal uh, 100 and, uh, 150. That means I am actually hitting the boundary. All right, so I'm gonna, because it's an if statement, we're going to do this. And if we do this, I'm, if I hit it anywhere, I'm gonna say we killed the monster, okay? So I'm gonna put it in here, alert, got the monster, okay? All right, so let's test it. So you do this, Command S, and you go in here, Refresh, we got an error. Let's see what is the error is about. Uh, okay, 
Let me pause it for a minute. All right, the problem was here, we're missing a y actually. So y is less than or equal 100. So if x is greater than 50 and y is less than or equal 100 and y is, sorry, x is greater, less than or equal 100 and y is greater than or equal to 100 and y is less than 150. So let's test it now, it should work. All right, now I click anywhere, it's fine. I draw, but when I click in here, it says I got the monster. That is important because when you're doing when you're doing uh, when you're doing a gaming, you want to know if you have a collision with something or you hit something, and that's how we do uh, collision detection. Simple collision detection. All right. All right. So this is one video related to the mouse. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we use the keyboard to move things around the screen. All right. I'll see you on the next video.